Hey, it's Lisa, and it's been so long since I've shared a cooking video with you. So today I decided to create a banana nut bread. Now I have done this recipe many, many times before, but what's great about this recipe is that it is light and fluffy. A lot of times when you make banana nut bread, it's just really dense. So this is a great recipe. Even if you're not a baker, you really can't mess it up. It's just so simple to put together. Um, you won't be disappointed. So. If you've got any bananas rotting on your counter, uh, this is the perfect time to use them. This is the recipe you wanna use them for. You do actually wanna use bananas that are overripe, they've turned brown, you really can't do much else with them. Those are gonna work out perfectly in this recipe. So the ingredients that you need, you need one stick of butter, so it's a half a cup of butter that has been melted, a cup and a half of flour, two eggs, one cup of white sugar, a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a cup of sour cream, a half a cup of chopped walnuts, and two overripe bananas that you have mashed. So before we get started, you're gonna to wanna to turn your oven on to 350 degrees. Step number one is to combine the melted butter with the cup of white sugar. Next, we're gonna add in the eggs and the vanilla. Now we're gonna combine the flour, baking soda, and salt and add it to the mixture. So I've already combined it and we're just gonna add it in here and mix it as we go. Finally, we are going to fold in the bananas, the sour cream, and the walnuts. You don't wanna overmix this, so you're gonna to wanna to switch to a spatula and just sort of fold it in. All right, there you have it. It was really simple. Everything came together in one bowl, so it's not a lot of mess to clean up. And the original recipe did call for this to go into a loaf pan. You would just spray the pan with some cooking spray and then it suggests you cook it for an hour. Now, my experience is that it does need longer than an hour if you're using a loaf pan. Um, so you wanna keep an eye on it. Every oven is different. You may have it finished in an hour. You may need an additional 10 minutes, so just keep an eye on it. Um, but I'm gonna actually cook it in a nine by nine pan instead. So I'm gonna cut it up more like a brownie rather than slice it like a loaf of bread. Here is the final product. So it took 40 minutes in the oven. It's nice and brown on the top. The inside is perfect. I did decide to sprinkle a little bit of walnuts on top because it was looking kind of plain. You don't have to do that. Um, another thing that you can do with this recipe, if you wanted to, you can add a half a cup of the mini chocolate chips, or if you don't like walnuts, you can use a different type of nut. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this recipe. Um, I'm gonna let it cool down a bit, and then we're gonna cut into it. So I sliced it up so you can see what the inside looks like. It came out perfectly, it tastes great. Um, even though it doesn't look like a bread, you could make it in bread form. Um, I personally like it this way because, at least for my oven, it seems to cook better. Whenever I use the loaf pan, the center never seems to cook quite like I want it to. It does cook, but it's just never how I like it. So this way is the way I prefer, um, but you can do it any way you'd like. Thank you for watching. And um, if you haven't seen any of my other cooking videos, it's been a long time since I've made any, but I do have plenty of other ones on my channel. Um, but thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this banana nut bread recipe. All right, Alex is going to try it. Well, you gotta take the paper off. Don't eat the paper. Gosh, <laughs> I don't think you're not eating this. I know, just try it and see, cause you love all the breads and things I make. I like it, but I want to save the other pieces for <laughs> a little bit. You do? Are yeah. you full right now? Yeah. But you like it? Yeah.